So Xbox 360s are getting pretty cheap now, which is awesome, but they're kind of getting cheap for a reason. Like obviously they're old, but they also have a lot of issues, especially the bigger models like this one right here. And this one just so happens to have something wrong with it. The DVD drive is stuck. Now there's a lot of ways to like kind of temporarily fix it or make it where you have to mess with it a lot. Like you can force the belt to move by shoving like a bobby pin in the tray or you can always keep a disc in the disc tray and it kind of offsets the weight, which is the thing that I'm doing right now, but I'm gonna show you how to actually fix it. Now you could put your favorite game in the disc tray, so even if it does get stuck, you can always play it, or maybe you want to do the opposite. Maybe you don't want to lose your favorite game, so you want to put in a game that you never play ever. You can uh, take a guess at which one this disc is for me. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and take the faceplate off. This will give us more clearance so we can more easily get in there and clean everything up. Now inside of the disc tray, there's a mechanism, there's a little belt that moves it in and out. So depending on how dirty it is, you may be able to just leave that in there, get a Q-tip and just kind of clean around everything. Make sure that there isn't a bunch of dust and grime slowing the belt down and making it where it can't move in and out. And what I would do is I would just go ahead and once you've cleaned it up, just move it in and out, open and close the actual disk drive and that'll kind of stir it around a little bit more and then you can go back in and clean it off again. Now if that wasn't enough for you, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the belt out to clean it. So go ahead and get something that you can wedge in between the drive to make sure that if this thing closes, it isn't gonna close completely because it's probably gonna be a pain to get that thing back open. Like I I literally don't even know how you'd go about doing that. I assume you have to take apart like the actual drive. So you have to open the Xbox all the way up, get the drive out, unscrew it. Like uh, I'm sure that's what you have to do and it's not gonna be fun. So really try not to do that. So inside of here, you can just get some tweezers and kind of wrap around onto the band and then take it out, clean the area around it and then clean the band itself. And then to get it back in, you kind of have to like hook it around. It's a little difficult, but it shouldn't take you too long. Maybe just a few tries. Really just make sure you get some good tweezers and it won't be too hard. Or maybe even get two pairs or have someone help you. It might be kind of hard to do just by yourself with two of them, but if you can get someone to help you out, it, it really shouldn't be any trouble. And look at that, it's closing and opening. Completely fine, don't even need the disc. We are good to go, and hopefully, you're good to go as well. Now, Hannah Montana, not actually my favorite Xbox 360 game, if you could have guessed. In fact, this disc doesn't even work. I've literally never even checked it to see if it did. I just kind of bought it like, oh, haha, ha, that's, a, that's a weird game, I'll buy that. And apparently it didn't work, so. I just went ahead and popped in my actual favorite game, the best game ever. You know what it is? Halo Reach. Am I right, guys? Am I right? I'm sorry. Uh, Halo fans, please don't hate me. I do actually kind of like Reach, but it's it's not my favorite. Like, th th three is really good, okay? Don't hurt me. Halo Reach is coming to PC, though. That's pretty cool, right? Huh? Yeah? You guys don't care? Okay, that's fine. I'm just... I'm gonna leave now.